touch on this. What's your follow up strategy? Follow up strategy. Ah, good. I know good. You, I, 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 we got to watch the time because it'll cut us off again. <laughs> All right. I know. How All long right. has it been now? Uh, it's been another 50 something minutes. So, okay. okay. That's All right. My, so, that's my okay. Last here, here we go. All right. Five steps. This is, this is right out of the book. Why don't they call me? All right. Five steps for follow up. You get an initial inquiry. You respond the same day as quickly as you can using the method they reached out. So if they emailed, email them back. If they called, call them back. If they texted, text them back. If they went through wedding wire or the not, use their messaging. If it came through Facebook message, whatever. Use the same method they reached out. Make it fit on one screen of their phone because they're reading it on their phone. The last thing they see is the question. It should be its own paragraph at the end is that one sentence that's the question. Okay? So that's the first one. You don't hear back by tomorrow. Not next week. Tomorrow. You respond again. Hi, Al. Just wanted to make sure you saw my inquiry from yesterday. I'm so excited to speak to you about the catering for your wedding party, whatever it is. Okay? And then you ask the same question. You still don't hear back. You got to figure if you're emailing them, your emails are probably going to spam because they started this. They reached out to you. This is not cold calling. That's a whole different discussion. They reached out to you. They're not responding. Maybe they're just not getting it because I know your junk filter, your junk folder has emails in it. My junk folder has emails in it. And some of them are legitimate emails that we want, but they're in the junk folder. Okay. Then you have to try something different. If you've been emailing, call. If you've been messaging through wedding wire or the not, use your regular email, text them, social message, something different. And I will email what I'll do for my business since my business is just me is I'll go to my Gmail address instead of my regular Alan at allenberg.com. And I would say, hi, Al, I'm just trying my Gmail address because I know how spam filters can sometimes block emails and maybe you're just not seeing mine. And then I'll put that in. And what that does is two things. If you have been seeing it, it makes you feel a little guilty for not responding, right? And if you haven't, then now you're seeing it, okay? Oh, that's smart. <clears throat> okay, now, Alan. you still don't respond. I'm only gonna wait, now that was, the day you got it, the next day, no more than one or two days later. A couple of days after that, if you still have nothing, you're already into the next week easily, into the next week. One line, and by the way, your subject line is very important on all of these. If your subject line says catering inquiry, eh, it's boring, right? Your delicious, cater your delicious wedding catering inside, right? Uh, Judy and Steve's delicious wedding catering, right? Something like that's going to be a lot more interesting. Okay. Right. All right. Your fourth email is a one line subject line. Are you still looking for delicious food for your wedding? And then inside, hi, Al, uh, I haven't heard back from you. Are you still looking for a, a caterer to provide delicious food that your guests are going to rave about? Okay. That's it. That's the whole thing. You still don't hear back. Then you're going to try something funny, right? That's when you try something funny. Funny subject line, funny email. So I'll give you a couple of examples. Uh, a wedding band in uh, Maryland tried this after he heard me speak about this, and he and I chatted after. So he had three couples. They had not nothing, total ghosting. They sent him an inquiry. He responds, nothing, okay? Follow up, follow up, follow up, nothing. He sends him an email, the subject line, where we're going, we don't need roads. Do you know what the reference is? What, what was it? Where we're going, we don't need roads. No. Back to the future. So that's the line of back to the future because in that DeLorean, where we're going, we don't need roads. Okay? Anyway, I don't think it hurts if you don't know the line, but curious, yeah. right? All right. It's inside. just yeah. right. Inside. Hi, Al. Um, you reached out about having us provide amazing wedding, uh, a wedding band for, your, uh, band for your wedding. We haven't heard back. We can only imagine it's one of these reasons. And then it was bullet points. Number one. You've chosen another band. If that's the case, just let us know. We wish you a lot of luck. Number two, you're still interested, but you've gotten really busy, and you'd still like to talk to us about being your band. Number three, uh, you're still busy now, but would like to talk to us, and you want us to follow up again in two weeks. And number four, Doc screeched into your driveway in his DeLorean, and after some whimsical time-traveling adventures, you found yourself stuck in 1955 without access to email. <laughs> okay? So something like that. And you know what happened? All three couples got back to him, and all three couples were still interested. Nice. Because he didn't give up. And I, yet, it's, it's so true. The power of follow-up is just like you said. You, 
But it's fun though. We get, we kind of like, we start thinking, we get these negative thoughts in our mind. Oh, what? I don't want to be pushy. I don't want to sound this. All these things that happen, you got to stop yourself. You just realize, like you said, maybe that's going to spam. Use a different email. Try different strategies. Don't give up. And then you get that sell. Well, remember, they started this. They reached out to you about your <laughs> services. Following up is being helpful. It's not being pushy. Right? Just make sure every email is different. Every subject line is different that you're trying to get. I just had a wedding uh, a officiant couple. They came to a mastermind of mine last year. I talked about following up better. She had some follow-ups with people, her sixth email, and now she's getting responses from people saying, yes, I'm still interested, right? <clears throat> but she just sent me a story. January of last year, 2019, she sent, she was at a bridal show, and she met this couple, and they were really interested. And she follows up and she gets nothing. Follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up, nothing, right? But she kept following up because the wedding wasn't until later this year. January of this year, a year later, the bride all of a sudden comes out of the woodwork and says, hi, you're still available for our date. We want to book you. Wow, nice. Because she kept following up. I love it. My thing, when I do my mailing, when I did the calculator, when I did the flashlight, right? I do a series of emails along with that. And the fourth email, I've done now a mailing and four emails. The fourth email, you know what the subject line is? Now remember, I'm selling sales training. My fourth email subject line is, how persistent is your sales team? Nice. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> Practicing what I preach, because if I don't no. follow up, why should, you, why should you hire me to teach your people to follow up? Nice, Right. exactly. Right, exactly. It's gonna well, be. Thanks.